Good morning once again from Grandma's Farm out here in Yada. I'm gonna drink my coffee and have my morning routine. Typically I like to study Japanese, do meditation in the morning. Also maybe some visualization and affirmations. Visualize an attack, visualize an attack. All right, so let's talk about morning routine, goals and affirmations, reviewing my goals. I believe in affirmations also. I don't know what you think about that, but I think affirmations help. Also doing visualization, I'm into the law of attraction. I have used it to great success. My mind is actually the most clear in the morning, even though I struggle to get up early. It's always a battle for me to wake up early in the morning, but um, whenever I wake up, my ADD hasn't kicked in yet, and so the morning's the best time for me to study Japanese. If you've watched this channel, you know I'm also into meditation. I used to be a monk. That's a pretty good morning routine right there. Um, I'd like to... I'd like to get working out into my morning routine. However, I like to work out in the afternoon. I like to work out when I've already had a meal in to fuel my workout. And I like to work out when I've got a bunch of thoughts built up in my mind so that I can just burn it out. Just my personality and stuff. I like to work out later in the day. Anyways. She's a little scrappy. Scrappy bees, yeah. She's a little pooper dooper 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 doo. Why do charts get small? <laughs> Today, woke up at 5.30 and Dakbat donated food to the monks when they were on Bintabat, alms round. And now we're gonna go to the temple, forest temple, to meditate for a few hours. It's gonna be a Tama filled day. We're gonna talk about meditation. We're gonna talk about forest temples. We're gonna talk about Thai Buddhism. Yes, my friend. So this was awesome. I've been practicing meditation for quite a while now, over a decade, well over a decade. I really started practicing meditation in my third year of university. I started taking world religions classes and then found the local Thai temple in Orlando, Florida, where I'm from and just started attending the classes there, started doing meditation. Got a bachelor's degree in world religions from University of Central Florida, then became a monk, and then became a monk again <laughs> for a longer period of time, and then started doing a master's degree in Asian studies with a specialization in Buddhism, 
And then I started traveling all around to monasteries in the U.S., mainly Zen monasteries in the U.S., also some Thai temples. And then when I started my master's degree in Asian studies, I started traveling to Asia, went to Japan, and had the honor and privilege of staying with Jeff Shore and meditating with the monks at Tofukuji Rinzai Zen Temple in Kyoto, which was amazing. And then I went to China and did a wooden fish program there with Venerable Ifa in the Chinese Zen tradition. And then I went to Thailand and stayed at Wat Pananachat, which is Ajahn Chah's temple in Ubon Ratchatani. So it's a forest temple, pretty hardcore tradition of forest monks. Since then, I've been back to Wat Pananachat several more times. I love it there. Amazing forest tradition of Ajahn Shah. It actually took me many years to really start getting good with meditation. The first year or so, I was doing breath counting, just trying to get raw concentration going, basically. When it really took hold for me, was when I started doing body scanning. You use your breath to fill your body with breath energy going part by part, going up and or down. That was really good for me and I still use that method now. I've gotten to the point to where I'm kind of dynamic with it. Sometimes I'll do full scans. Sometimes I'll just sit down and pay attention to the feeling of the breath in my belly. Usually once you hit certain phases in your meditation practice, you can pretty easily tap back into that mode of meditation as it were. So if things are going well, I'll sit down and I can already have a sense of like my breath filling my whole body, which is what you really want because that makes you relaxed and it feels really good. So contrary to what many meditation teachers will teach. My preferred meditation method is enjoyment and pleasure of the breath. So instead of saying concentrate on your breathing, you just enjoy your breathing. If you're just starting out with meditation, it might not be so enjoyable at first, but if you keep with it, you will probably find that you can get to a stage or a phase where breathing just feels really good and your thoughts will just kind of naturally start to fall away because when you really get in touch with your breathing it can be really pleasurable but most people will have to practice it for a bit before they get this feeling so ask me questions the comments what do you want to know about meditation what do you want to know about buddhism and i will make videos about those topics <sighs> Jeez, I can I can smell it. You can smell it? Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Yadong. Is it whiskey or vodka or it's kind of like no you This can... is Yadong. It's the local moonshine. You will try it and then he will try it and then you can you can reveal. <laughs> so this is Sai Cute's cousin, and this is her restaurant. What's the name of the restaurant? My name, my name is Ah. Uh, Restaurant. Do you like the food here, babe? Yeah. Food's good. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant.
the south. So they take the shots of the yadong with uh, plums as a chaser and sugar with chili. Uh, I don't really want to, but I, yeah. I'm not going to turn it down. Yeah, you won. <laughs> yeah, you, you won. Oh, wait, so how do I do it? Put the plum in that? Yeah. Or like like this? Yes. Yeah. It's hot first. Yeah. All right, ready? <laughs> wait, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, well, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Oh, uh, my. Yeah. Mm. yeah, really good. Good job, babe. Yeah. It's actually really smooth. I was expecting it to be harsh, yeah. but smooth. Nice. Thank you. Last day, packing up, moving out of grandma's house. Oh man, it is hot. It is so hot. Mister, mister, get me out of here. Oh. Yep, I'm packing up all my stuff, flying back to Bangkok, but not before. We have a four generations of Psycute's family partying tonight. So, let's get the party started, brother! Having a barbecue, man. Got my chicken on the barbie. It's been a great trip. Thank you for joining. See you next time on the adventures of Sir William Elliot.